Okay, so we're now ready to do the second of the business career missions, which is balancing the books two of ten. Okay, so basically on this one, we're going to be given um, this civilian salvager, which is actually a piece of equipment that we need to um, fit to the ship. We are then going to go and collect this item, this black box, and then we're going to drop it off at this location. Um, this is where we're supposed to be getting the black box from by the look of it. And this here says there are ship restrictions. Now you'll see these coming through on um, various missions, you know, after this one. Um, all you need to do is read it to see whether or not it says here that you may or may not use whatever ship that you're in. Um, if you can, then obviously everything's fine. If you're not, I think it'll be highlighted in red to say that you can't use it. And there'll be a list of ships that you do have to use. So we're okay with this ship. So we say okay to that. We accept that. Close the window. You can see now we've got this red one over our inventory. So if we go to there and look in the item hanger, because the item has gi been given to us at the station, so it's in the item hanger and not in our cargo bay. If we have a look at it, you can see here we've got one of them. And you can see there it's showing that it is a piece of equipment. So we can just right click on it and fit it to the active ship. OK. So here it says there are no, flip, no free slots on the ship. Unfit some modules first. So we say OK to that. And we'll just keep this here because we're going to use this in a minute. And we'll open up the fitting window and you can see that both of these um, both of these slots here are taken up with weapons so what we need to do is is we need to right click and remove the charge which is the ammunition and then we can right click and unfit the weapon we can now right click and fit the salvager, uh, fit to active ship, and you can see now it's in that slot. At this level at the moment, we'll be fine with just the one gun, and we can leave this here in the, uh, in the station hangar. If at some point in the future you're going to be going off on another mission, another SAR system, and you're not going to be coming back, the easiest thing to do is move those into your cargo hold on your ship and you will take them with you. But we know we're coming back here in a minute, so we're going to leave those here. I also know that at the end of this, one of the rewards we're going to get, I'll just open up the details again. And you can see here, one of the rewards that we're going to get, as well as the 200,000, we're going to get a venture mining ship. So that's good. So, we've accepted the mission, we've fitted um, the part we needed to fit. So we shall undock, make a way, and uh, see what delights await us. So, you can see it says set destination, which means there's going to be more than one waypoint. So we s set the destination. And here in the A route, you can see there, it, we've got three jumps. Okay, so there's the first jump highlighted in the overview. And I'll just select the jump button or press D on the keyboard. And off we go. You can press the autopilot, the A button down at the bottom here. And it will take you through those waypoints, but it's a lot slower. It's not so bad if you're going off to make a brew or go to the toilet or whatever. Um, but if you're going to sit here, it's quicker to actually do it manually because there are delays in between each step that just drag on for no reason. So you can see here, as soon as we come out of warp, so I'm in warp at the moment, as soon as we come out of warp, we should immediately go into jump which we've done we travel through the stargate very quickly and we can immediately jump again to the next step. so we'll now walk to the next stargate and do an immediate jump 
and then we'll walk to the next stargate and do an immediate jump. Then we're in the correct star system and we'll work our way to where the quest is. Again, as soon as we come out here, we can jump to the next Stargate. Again. So you see the writing here that says warp drive active. As soon as the warp drive goes offline, we almost instantly jump. So there's no delay. If you leave it on autopilot, you'll come out of that jump. Um, you'll come out of that jump about 10 kilometers away from the Stargate, and then you'll just drift slowly into it. It takes ages. I think I timed it on one on a slow ship like this. It took 22 seconds from coming out of warp to reach the Stargate, as opposed to approximately two seconds if you do it manually. So, okay, so we're in the star system, so we're warping to part of the quest location. Now, right, so this is an acceleration gate. So, basically, the same thing, we, uh, we highlight the acceleration gate and we activate the gate. This is pretty much like a star gate, except it doesn't take you to another star system, it just takes you to a, a, a further location within the same star system. Okay. So we can see there's the wreck that we need to have a look at but there's an enemy ship so we're going to get rid of him first so we click on him and you can see now here the target icon isn't greyed out so we can target him and I'm going to orbit him and keep the orbit at approximately a thousand kilometers that's um, that's an optimal range for this weapon. So as soon as we come within 3.3 kilometers of him, we can then start using the weapon that we've got here. There's no point in using it now because we're outside of its optimal range. So we're down to 6.6, 5.7, 4.3 okay and now we can start firing so that's his ship destroyed so we can now stop what we will do now is target the wreckage that we need to investigate and we just approach it. And as we approach it now, we should now be able to use the scanner. You have to make sure that it's targeted before you use the scanner. So now we use the scanner. Now this can take a, a few attempts, so you just have to sit and be patient and wait for this to actually work. Um, when it doesn't work, you get this message, your attempt to access the civilian transport shipwreck failed this time. So it will do this a number of times and then eventually it will be successful. Um, and once it's successful, oh, there you go, it's successfully accessed civilian transport ship. So now we can use the open cargo button and there's the black box that we need. So we make sure we loot it we can close that and we can see here in the overview window 
that the ship we just destroyed we can also loot that it's got lootable items so we select that and we also select open cargo okay some metal scraps so we loot that okay so now we can set the destination and we're going to jump back to where we came from so we can hand the quest in so once we set the destination you can see here our first autopilot way station is online so now we just jump so we'll walk to that and immediately jump through the Stargate and we'll just keep doing that until we've docked and then we hand the quest in. Okay, and the final jump. Okay, now normally you do get uh, an option here that will say dock, but it's not showing on, on this window, but it is showing up here. So we can just select dock or press D on the keyboard once we've got that highlighted. Okay, so all I did was click on the, the moon that we're going to and then press D on the keyboard and off we go and that will automatically dock us when we get there start the conversation and we can hand the quest in and again remember now we're going to get this bonus reward of 200,000 because we did it within the time limit and we're also going to get this ship which we will be using okay so complete the mission and close that we've received our money we have a look there you can see the one shows we've received a new item and you can see now it's in the ship hangar and when we look at that, there's the ship there. Okay, and so we're ready now for the next mission. <laughs> 